What's up guys, Takeups here, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to share with you guys my personal feedback about the iOS 11 GM version on my iPhone 5S in here and of course later in this video I'm gonna also compare this one to my iPhone 6S speed wise and we'll see which one is of course faster and I bet the iPhone 6S will be faster of course but anyways you know how much the iPhone 5S is slower than the iPhone 6S so let's get started and okay so first of all I'd like to say that this firmware for now it's pretty stable and you can of course download it right now on your iPhone links below but of course there are some glitches that are still present in here and lags especially those lags on the iPhone 5s they are visible and believe me they play a major role in the performance so first of all there is the lag when I try to access the, the widget center in here and while the widgets are loading I'm trying to go back and as you can see I cannot go back instantly so something is holding me back so I cannot just you know go to the other home screen and just uh, swipe between those home screen and stuff like that so for some reason uh, there is this kind of a glitch let's say not a lag but an actual glitch that is present in here in the widgets panel next of course is the widgets loading itself so the widgets do get you know a little bit slow sometimes because there's so much they need to actually load in here so of course if you want to make your iPhone 5s faster on this firmware you need to remove as many widgets as you can because these take a lot of RAM from the iPhone and there's only one gig of RAM on this this particular iPhone so that's why of course they are loading so slowly and if we try opening apps and just folders we will not experience any lag in here because of course Apple did a great job in terms of just you know apps opening animations and stuff like that but there is one lag as still present in the home screen so when we try to do something like this and just you know change the home screens quickly uh, not you know even touching the control center I mean the uh, widget center in here so they still you know kind of it kind of lags in here in between those two pages and I imagine if you had like eight pages or ten pages that would be you know absolutely bad for your performance and you know it won't be that snappy next is the control center and the notification center so for some reason this issue has not been resolved yet so I've said about this one in my previous iOS 11 beta 9 review on the iPhone 5s but it's still present here so for some reason when I try to sometimes you know um, open the control center like this or just um, close this little home screen with the notification center sometimes uh, it just doesn't recognize the touches uh, it just doesn't react you know at any touches that I do so sometimes I have to do this kind of gesture about three times in order to just access the control center or the notification center next is the multitasking glitch so I'm not sure if it's a glitch but as you can see when I try to just slide this little cards to the left side they kind of just you know make this little glitch that it really annoys me sometimes because you know you won't do this on a daily basis but believe me if you're gonna have like 20 apps open at the same time and you're gonna be just quickly switching between them of course you're gonna experience this little glitch as you can see that's just got me to the second app not the first one kind of bounces off this right wall so you know it's a little bit annoying sometimes and of course how could I have forgotten about the wallpaper so these are present in the latest iOS 11 GM version so as you can see these are exactly like we have on the iPhone 6s or any other new iPhone all of these are present for you and of course you can go ahead and install it on your device and I think especially this one looks so beautiful on the iPhone 5s as you can see this kind of purple like wallpaper it looks really nice and now the web browsing so when I try to load apple.com as you can see that's almost instant so let me just switch to another website let's say it's gonna be Google so that's yeah almost instant now back to apple.com and as you can see that's loading really fast so my phone acts in here so yeah not that fast in here of course because it has a lot of different animations and stuff like that on this page but the performance is pretty good I should say because you know this this real page is like lagging on my Mac which is you know it's pretty powerful machine but still does lag on my Mac but in here as you can see everything loads like almost perfectly and yeah the performance on the Safari is pretty great and finally the heating issue and whether you need to install this on your iPhone 5s right now well if you're you know using this 
iPhone on your daily basis and you do really care about performance so much where every single second or millisecond is important to you, well, I should say you should not update to this firmware. But, you know, when you don't really care about this milliseconds and stuff like that, but you care about the performance in general, but not that much, maybe, you know, you can install iOS 11 right now. But keep in mind that in a few months, iOS, iOS 10.3.3 will no longer be signed and you won't be able to actually downgrade to it. And now the hitting issue, well, yes, it's still present in here. So especially when I tried to load a few pages uh, in the Safari, like apple.com, which is pretty heavy. Well, you know, it's not that bad as it was on the iOS 11 beta 9, but I still feel it's like a little bit warm, but I think it's it's not that bad. So definitely, you know, they did something to um, partially resolve this issue on this phone. And yeah, guys, I think that should be pretty much it. Lastly, I wanted to show you how this iPhone 5S competes to the iPhone 6S in speed wise of course i did one single test between the, those two so yeah right now you're going to be looking at it and of course the iphone 6s is going to be faster but we'll see how much faster And yeah guys, I mean that should be pretty much it, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about this iPhone 5S and its performance. At this point I cannot say anything about battery, you know, because I'm not using this phone on a daily basis, I don't want to give you guys some random numbers which I of course uh, just took from the head and something like this, you know, just I'm not gonna be doing a battery test in this video, maybe I'll leave it for the other videos to make it precise and to give you guys a real numbers from it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways and of course if you did make sure you give it a huge thumbs up so that would be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys i really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out